Then, as I turn, you can take this hand and do that really fast to break the, to just get that bend. And now I can come up. Okay. If you need to, if he straightens his arm, like a lot of people do, you just bring that and you can bend it enough. Okay. So you're good. My shoulder joint has to be on top of the chair. Right here. Okay. Yes, because what it also sets up for that other, some of the other takedowns we have. Right. It's Sometimes we got to get other stuff. So that's why we got to. You got to remember that before COVID, we were working on all that stuff. It's in there. It's still there, right? We're going to work on it today. We're going to bring it in. We're going to bring it back today. Make it possible, right? So after I get it. There, then you come to the 90, right? You come out there. So you will come off. That's fine, finishing there. But if you need to, come to right where I'm, or John's on his side, where you come to this position. You can finish here, fine. But know that if he's not, if he's not finishing, get to this spot.
So right here. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't be here. 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 Don't be here.
we're not in the streets. We're doing this is sports chance, so we're trying to get to the ground. So he goes. I go for the rush and he squares up, chop, step. See, that's how it would happen if I want to keep him, if I want to stay up. And then from here, we put the arm behind his back. Over, right? As long as I have my thigh above his hand, this is over. If I go here, now I give him an out. Alright, but we'll go, we'll review that after this. Let's just get the takedown part down. Alright, then we'll go back to the other side. Everybody good? On two, on two. And just keep building that chain link fence, right? Keep building it. Jeremy, instead of hooking yeah. behind his thigh, go after the just go after the ankle. Yeah, make it like an ankle sweep. Yep, and chop the arm. He's still shooting. He's straight out. Okay. So when you get this, John's strong. He yeah. still can't stop that. Give me straight, straight run. Yeah. I still I'm turn it. I still turn it. Then I get my grip. Now if I go here. Nothing. If I go here, nothing. Yeah, okay. So, any arm. No, yeah. There you go. So, grab your, yes, your forearm. Now, step with the right foot over a little bit more. Now, put your left foot behind his ankle. And I want you to look hard over your left shoulder and punch him in the stomach with a. There you go, John. Oh, that's it. That's what works. Yeah, that's a strange, strange motion. <laughs> Punch him, in his, punch him in his chest with his own hand, right? Right now, all right. I must break this. Turn back the swing. No, 
don't leave that straight because it's hard to punch his hand into his chest, right? So I step and use my momentum. Boom. That's how I, like, now I grab my forearm. Look hard to my left, trip, get the hand behind the back. Right now, it's behind his back, right? So now, as I fall, left knee goes to the ground. I use my chest to keep his elbow in place. Let's turn, let's turn. This hand is gonna come across like a seat belt. I'm gonna get him off the ground, bring my leg through. Now, this becomes everything here. Now, I must, this knee must get underneath this hand. So, I'm gonna turn you again. Turn you, let's go. Yeah, go down. So now you all see, I'm here, right? So when I grab this and I come through, you guys see where his hand is? Yeah. I must get below it. Now I get below it, now I bring him. Now I lock my figure four or my body triangle, whatever you want to call it, right? Now look where his hand is. It must be here, because if I do it the other way, he just, yeah, he's out, right? He's not in a great place, but it's not over. This is over. I don't even have to choke him here. Wrist lock, shoulder lock, from right there. I mean, it's fine, I just hold him and start, ooh, my back. You guys see what I mean? Then, but if I want to be, you know, vile and evil, I'll lock him in, I'll play with here, I'll lock that in place, and we choke him, right? I have a number of options, but the key is I must get the hand above my thigh. Otherwise, it's off or not. You did all that, it looks great on YouTube, and you're like, dang, it didn't work. But we got to get that hand. So position, step through, he squares up, step, generate the pressure I need to break this grip, boom, look away, on the way down, pull it. Don't pull it with this hand, because if you pull it with this hand, now you messed up. Right, so the hand that was here, it was grabbing my forearm, just now grabs his forearm. Then I fall, my chest is heavy on his arm. I'm still holding the forearm. Come across seat belt grip, bring my leg through. As I fall, now I'm under it. Now I'm under the arm. All I gotta do is hold it until I'm ready to finish, right? I don't have to choke, I just finish right here. Wrist lock, so just pull the arm up. Right, and I can stay here if I want, I can. Body triangle, I can lock. All those are available to me, right? And then, if I want to be like I said, if you want to be just an evil person, you start choking, he defends, come underneath, pull it through, lock it in, put my foot in his back pocket, and now we finish. Two on none, right? Questions on that? You guys remember this? Before the pandemic, we were working on this a lot, all right? All right, let's get back to it. On two, one, two. Good. Now you're going to fall. So that gets me very careful as you go. You don't want to hurt your shoulder. 
over. All right. And now you got to get your thigh underneath that. There you go. Now you're good. Yeah. 
for the next five minutes is just get it off. So get the grip. He's he's just not letting me get it. Not letting me get it. My shoulder and my head come back. Shut the shoulder forward, head comes back and through. Okay? Yes, that'd be just like that. Yes, sir. For that Enzo like uh, trip. Yep. What's the proper way to actually take them down? Like when you put that leg through. Okay, so we'll we'll just get rid of this piece. So if I can get this, right? Yeah. This position where I'm through and I can be here. Usually I'm a little bit further behind. But anytime I can get this grip, I'm gonna lead. Now this is I don't like to teach this very much because I can you can mess a person's knee up. Right? So we stay heavy and I start sitting. And I just hook the leg. That's it. It's really that's it. But what happens for people who haven't drilled it is they sit quick and blow somebody's knee out. And that's why we don't really teach it a lot here. But if you ever watch Master Penzo in a lot of his MMA fights, he does this all the time. He did it in his last MMA fight. The one he did a year or two ago when he was fighting the champion out of Japan, I believe. He locked in this position, took him down, took his back, fight was over. Right? There's a whole series that he, that Master Hanzo uses there that we're going to teach. When we get back into it, the way to get that choke is fantastic. But it has to be drilled slow and properly to, to make sure we don't blow out somebody's knee. Got it? It's kind of like why we don't do scissor, scissor takedowns and you know flying triangles and all that stuff just because it's dangerous. We still we stay away from it. But I'm gonna show you guys because you need to know. Alright, but we'll get there. But right now, we're not doing that. We're just working on getting that getting that arm off, right? Shut, pull the head back, come back in. Got it? Good? Alright, let's do it on two. One, two. See how the back presents itself? Good 
Nice, everyone. Nice. Good job.